Is that a Santa mug? Mm -hmm. I'm already ready for Christmas. <laughs> Judge me. Hey guys, it's Dustin and Berta, and we wanted to take this time for you guys to get to know us a little better. Right, and so what better way than to Google funny, stupid questions to get to know people? Yeah. <laughs> and that's just what we did. <laughs> Number one, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? When I was young, my friends and I used to love to play in construction sites, and we used to run around the neighborhood barefoot. So oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> so uh, there was one time we were climbing through a half built house and I stepped on a nail. Uh, it went through my foot. All the way through? Uh, not all the way through. Uh, Halfway through maybe? Uh, I wore shoes that were way too small because <laughs> they were really good looking shoes and I ended up breaking my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of wearing the shoes, I'm now walking around an air cast. <laughs> Anything to do for fashion. Yeah. What is your most unusual talent? Unusual talent. Do you have one? I have one. Yeah. I can make my tongue get really big. Is that a talent? I mean, I think that, I mean, <laughs> it's unusual, but like my tongue, like I can make it go like, uh, uh, uh. oh gosh. Like kind of like a whale. An, I don't, an orca whale. Yeah. Can you, can you do that? Try it. Uh-uh. Yeah. I don't even know what you're doing. You're impressed, right? <laughs> Dinosaurs or dragons? Dragons. Dinosaurs. All right, what's the funniest thing that you've ever seen a kid do? Uh, one thing comes to mind, and at the time it was horrifying, but today it is funny. Okay, what is when this? Stone was in his crawling phase, yeah. and we had Tuff, who's our dog. Oh, God. He, oh, he pooped on the floor. Stone crawled up to the poop. And he put it in his mouth. He did. That was, <laughs> that was bad. I mean, he didn't eat it. Like the minute it hit his lips, he realized this was not a good choice. Right. And, it was... and he started going. Argh! He started like dry heaving, <laughs> and we started dry heaving. <laughs> it was awful. And like, yes, that was really awful. That was, that was, but it's funny now. That was not funny then. We probably should not be sharing this. Probably not. What's something that people think makes them look cool, but actually makes them look ridiculous? Okay, I think too much lip filler. Like, lip filler's fine, but like too much. Oh yeah. Like when you're like, hey guys, <laughs> notice anything different about me? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Right, I agree. There's a, there's a place that you should just pause. What's your worst bug related story? And I know mine. Uh, uh, when I grew up, we had uh, a basement in our house, and in that basement, it was infested with centipedes. Ew. And so, I mean, I'm talking thousands of centipedes. Gross. And as so you the entire floor, the floor was just, like just moving. moving. Yeah. And so you walk downstairs, yeah. and you would just go crunch, 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 That's crunch. Disgusting. crunch. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> so remember the house that when we first met, you moved in with me. Yeah. And were we together when this happened? No. When we had no, a no, snake. I, I heard the story. Okay. But it was in. The I had a house. snake come into the house and. It was a baby snake and I could hear my dogs going crazy downstairs. So I ran downstairs and I saw them jumping at something and I looked and it was a, a snake. And so I just grabbed my dogs and I ran upstairs to get them away from the snake. And I come downstairs and I don't see the snake anymore. And so I'm freaking <laughs> out so because worse. I'm like, where is the right. snake? So I like, I had a, a Tupperware bin in one hand and I like, <laughs> I thought maybe it's under the couch. So I lifted the couch up with one hand, like like Hercules <laughs> strength. Superman. I like throw the couch <laughs> and there's a snake and I throw the Tupperware bin on the snake and I just, I like wiggle this board underneath <laughs> and then I grab it and I'm like running around the house. Like what do I do with the snake? I like run outside <laughs> and I didn't know what to do with it. So I ran across the street and I threw it in my neighbor's house. <laughs> I'm so sorry. By the way, <laughs> is is a hot dog a sandwich? No, it's its own class. What is it? I think it's more like a taco, like an American <laughs> taco. I never thought of that. Yes, tacos you can do different 
mixtures of, of toppings and things. Same, and you yeah. can do the same thing with a hot dog. So yeah, I, think, can... I don't think it's a sandwich, I think it's a taco. I love that. Yeah. Okay, what's your worst roommate or house guest story? Hmm. I know mine. Yeah, okay. I had once had a roommate who um, had had some dogs, and the dogs were. Um, I had a lot of infestations in my past. <laughs> <laughs> Centipedes, and and this this happened to be a flea, like a flea infestation. And not in the whole house, just in his bedroom. Okay, so one day he called, asked me to 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 grab something out of his room, and when I walked in there, I didn't. At this point, I didn't know there was a flea infestation, and I walked in, and just, it was just. <laughs> <laughs> Fleas, you can see them. Have you ever seen fleas jumping, literally? <laughs> and I'm like dodging them. Like, what's the worst food you ever ate? Mine was a hundred, one of those hundred year old eggs. You know the black, those. Oh black yeah. Why? Eggs. Why would you eat that? Why would they make those? <laughs> like, why would you want to eat a hundred year old egg? I don't think it's actually a hundred year old. It sure did smell and taste like. One. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was uh, pickled pig's feet. You know, here here in North Carolina, if you go to a gas station, you'll see the pickled pig's feet sitting in a big jar. They kind of just like dip your hand. Yeah, you just you put your you put your hand in, grab it. <laughs> <and> grab it. <laughs> that was so gross on so many levels. <laughs> I don't know if that would pass in coronavirus days. <laughs> I wonder if the pickled pig feet industry is crashed because of this. <laughs> Thank God. If one animal was made the size of an elephant, which one would be the scariest? No. Oh. Maybe like a, I mean, does that have to be animal? Can it be like a bug? Sure. Speaking of fleas, have you ever seen a close up of a flea? They're gross, yeah. They're scary as hell. So that like the size of an elephant would be terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but because that's already terrifying in, in general. What if it was something cute that was as large as an elephant? Something like a, a hummingbird with a big, <laughs> with a big sword. That would be worse, <laughs> right? Yeah. Where would you haunt if you were a ghost? The White House. Totally. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, which would it be? I think anything Thai. Wait. Oh yeah, Thai food. Me. Yeah. What about you? Mine would probably be dessert. Really unusual. Trace leches cake. Oh, That's so yummy. So I would just I would have this <laughs> all the time, <laughs> and you would just be five thousand pounds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How much would someone have to pay you to eat a live spider? I mean, like twenty five cent. <laughs> what is something that you hate but you wish that you loved? Taxes. <laughs> I love taxes. I know, you're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is sports for sure. Yeah, I wish yeah. I like I wish I loved sports. I know, I just I can't get into it. I, I know, know, but people are so into it. I mean, like full on paint their body, like big foam fingers and a stand screaming like I wanna do that. Sounds fun. Yeah. So maybe we will we'll get into it when the kids are older. Because maybe yeah. watching your own kid play the sport, maybe that's, that's how you get into it. That's so true. Is that the entry into this? I think so. What makes you feel old? These lines right now. Yeah, no, looking in the mirror. Oh my god. No. Why don't we have a filter for our YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> so what is something that people are obsessed with, but you just don't get the point of? The Bachelor. I don't get it. Yeah. What about you? Vegemite. Yeah, that looks gross. I mean, I know it's good. I love Australia, but that I, that's one thing I can't get behind. It's, but it's supposed to be so good for you. How? I don't know, it just is. Ugh. <sighs> That taste. <laughs> if you like Vegemite, you're gonna love a hundred year old eggs. <laughs> sure. All right, what would you do if you were invisible for a day? <laughs> I know what I would do. <laughs> we're not gonna answer this one. Okay. If you could jump into a pool full of something, what would it be? I wanna jump into a pool of money like Scrooge McDuck. That's dirty. Well, I mean, yeah, money is so good. dirty. Like, you would have clean, to... clean dollar, but you can't. You it's like a hard mass, and you would break your. I would want to jump into Jello because I think it would just be fun. Like that the would be texture fun. and like Jello. I agree. Yeah. What would be the worst ingredients to fill a burrito with? Olives. What olives are delicious? I I don't know. I just don't. Not full of them, I guess. But I don't love olives. They're salty. They're just like little salt balls, like little just balls of salt. I just, I don't, I don't love an olive. Mm, I don't know, like 
cottage cheese. Like a, that texture, yeah. like that curdled texture. Uh, and it like just, it just squirts out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened on your worst day? Well, you should know. What, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what would you do differently if you knew that no one was judging you? Hmm. I would dance more. Ah. Like, and I love to dance, but I'm but not very good at it. Babe, you should always dance. Don't be, don't feel judged. You better get out there and shake it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Probably sing more. Oh, I mean, oh. I don't have like, I don't have an amazing voice, but I, it's so much fun to sing. You had so much practice every night with the kids. Though. I know. I, I literally have Twinkle Twinkle down. <laughs> I've been singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for four years every single night. <laughs> Sometimes multiple times. And I'm still really bad at it. <laughs> Am I reading or are you reading? Would you ever let your parents pick out a partner for you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that was the case, I think that your name would be Sarah. <laughs> or Brittany. Or anyone that had a female anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say, what was I thinking when you look back on your life? I had like the a butt cut for like my <laughs> you entire- You mean hair? Yeah. Like, like, split down the middle? down the middle and like hair down to here, like this. I had that haircut from like sixth grade to when I graduated high school. And I don't know why. I mean, it, it, looked, like a, I looked, like, it looked like a mushroom. It was like, like this, <laughs> like, like two little hair curtains. <laughs> I would also say a haircut, but I think it's kind of cool now. I had a rat tail. You did have a rat tail. I had a rat tail, it was really cute. You did and have I'll a rat play, tail, I would yeah. play with it. I think people should do this on first dates. What do you think? Right. I think so. <laughs> I learned a lot about you. I learned a lot about you. <laughs> Who are you? Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.